Hello there. My name is Tejas and welcome to Trendline's interesting technical trends in Nifty 50 and Bank Nifty's open interest data. In this video, we look at the Nifty 50 and Bank Nifty's open interest data from their option chain. With the help of this data, we'll plot the resistance and the support zone and arrive at a trading range for the indices over the next few weeks. Before we get into the open interest analysis of the option chain, let's briefly understand what options mean. As the name suggests, an option gives the option holder a choice to buy or sell an asset. A call option is a contract that gives the option buyer the right to buy an underlying asset at a specific price at a specific within a specific time period. And a put option is a contract giving the option buyer the right to sell an underlying asset at a particular price. Let's take a look at an option chain from the trend lines option dashboard. The left part shows the call option details and the right part shows the put option details. This is for the July 28th expiry contracts. One of the important parameters of the option chain details is the open interest data as it helps to identify trends in underlying security. Open interest is the total number of outstanding option contracts for an asset that have not been settled yet. So for the July 28th expiry option contracts, we can see for example, at the 16,800 strike price for call option contracts, the open interest is 61.1 lakhs meaning there are 61.1 lakh of option contracts that have not been settled yet. The change in OI shows the percentage change in open contracts for a particular period of time. Before we get into the open interest or the OI data, let's look at the price action of the Nifty 50. Till July 27, the Nifty 50 rose over 5% in the month after falling around 4.9% in June. This slide shows the resistance and the support level we plotted in June based on the open interest data available. Looking at the six, crucial 16,000 level, the Nifty 50 broke out of this resistance level and then uh, this level turned into a support zone. From there, the index went past the 16,500 level as well. But on July 26, the Nifty 50 closed just below the 16,500 mark before bouncing back above it on July 27. Indian market rose in July on the back of easing crude oil prices and other commodity prices. Globally, stock markets rose supported by strong earnings reports as investors assess the impact of high inflation levels on the company financials. In addition, FII equity outflows from India in July slowed down and turned positive in the last two weeks ended July 26th. FII's bought Rs 4,984.5 crore worth of shares in the last two weeks while domestic institutional buyers bought Indian shares worth Rs 1345.9 crore. These factors among others contributed to the benchmarks index rise in July. Let's now move on to the open interest analysis of the Nifty 50. We we'll look at it at three levels. First, we we'll look at the OI data of the Nifty 50's July 28th expiry contracts and then August 25th expiry contracts. Second, we will look at the foreign institutional investors or FII trading activity to understand the sentiment of foreign investors. Finally, we will analyze the options OI data of companies that have a significant weightage in the Nifty 50. While analyzing the open interest data of an option chain, the selling of option contract is an important section to look at. Usually institutional traders are the one who sells options or futures as it requires significant capital. For example, a high number of calls sold indicates that institutional traders have a bearish outlook. This is because these traders believe that the underlying security won't rise above a particular level and they can pocket the premium they got when they sold calls. On the other hand, if the traders are selling a high number of puts, they believe that the security won't fall, fall lower than this level so that they can keep the premium they received when they sold their puts. In this chart, the green bars represent the number of puts sold at a particular strike price and the red bars represent the number of calls sold. The put to call ratio or PCR for July 28 monthly expiry contract is at 1.2. This means the number of puts sold is slightly higher than the number of calls sold. This indicates a slightly bullish sentiment in the market. There are several strong support zones which is indicated by green bars on the chart at strike prices closer to the spot price or current price. But there is a strong resistance only at 17,000 levels. This means the Nifty 50 has several support zones closer to the current or spot price, but only one major resistance at 17,000 level. However, in the near term, 16,700 could act as a resistance even though the OI is not as high as the support levels at 16,500. 
the PCR for the July August 25th monthly expiry contracts is at 1.7, indicating a very bullish sentiment. At 16,500 levels, there is a lot of open interest. A high number of calls and puts are sold here. However, the number of puts sold is much higher, making it a support zone. But in case the index falls below this level, 16,500 could turn into resistance as there is already a lot of call option contracts sold at this level. The strongest resistance is present at the 17,000 level, while 15,500 and 16,000 zones are expected to act as support. Overall, the Nifty 50's August 25 expiry data shows a very bullish sentiment. This slide shows the open interest of FIIs in index options as of July 26. FIIs have a net long position of 83,335 in calls and a net long position of 1.89 lakh in puts. So the number of puts bought by FIIs is higher than the calls bought, indicating a bearish sentiment. Let's now move on to the heavyweight stocks in open interest data. The August 25th option expiry OA data of Reliance and ICICI Bank indicates a bearish sentiment as the PCR ratio is 0.5 and 0.6 respectively. This means that the number of puts sold is lesser than the number of calls sold. Traders sold calls as they don't believe these stocks will go higher and thus they can pocket the premium they received when they sold the calls. The put to call ratio of HDFC Bank and Infosys is 0.6 and 0.5 respectively. This is again a bearish indication by these two stocks OA data. There are several strong resistance levels for both HDFC and Infosys. If you look at put to call ratio of Tata Consultancy Services and HDFC Bank, uh, which is at 0.7, the outlook is largely neutral. So looking at the heavyweights data, OA data, we can say that they are indicating a bearish to neutral outlook. Let's summarize all the cues at different levels. Starting with the OA data of Nifty 50 August monthly expiry option contracts, we saw that it indicates a bullish sentiment, a very bullish sentiment. However, the OA of FII in index options tells a different story. As FIIs have bought a lot of put contracts compared to call contracts, it indicates a bearish sentiment. Finally, as we discussed, the heavyweights are also indicating a bearish to neutral sentiment. To round it up, the Nifty 50 is expected to be volatile in the coming month given the divergences in views between traders on different levels. Keeping this in mind, we can widen the trading range to 15,500 to 17,500. We can plot these resistances and support on the TradingView platform. For the short term trading range, we can use the 16,000 and 17,000 levels as the likely trading range. However, taking into account the open interest of FIIs and the heavyweight stocks OA data, we can widen the trading range to 15,500 to 17,500 as these zones have a higher open interest. Let's now move on to the Bank Nifty's OA data. Coming to the Bank Nifty July 28th expiry OI data, the PCR ratio is 1.2, indicating bullish sentiment as the number of puts sold is higher than the number of calls sold. Several strong support zones are present mainly at 36,500 and 36,000. Crucial resistance zones are at 37,000, 37,500 and finally at 38,000. For the August 25th expiry, Bank Nifty option contracts OI data, PCR is 1.3 which represents a slightly bullish outlook. A strong resistance level at 37,000 is present close to the current price as of July 27th. The strongest resistance, meaning the strike price at which the highest number of calls sold, is at 39,000. The nearest strong support is only at 36,000 and then at 35,500. By taking cues from the Bank Nifty option expiry data of both July and August monthly expiry, we can now plot the resistances and support levels. For the short term trading range, Bank Nifty may trade in the range of 36,000 to 38,000. However, given the high open interest at 39,000 and 34,000, Bank Nifty may trade inside these levels. Given the fact there is no big movement in its uh, major constituents like HDFC Bank, ICICA Bank, others, this uh, Bank Nifty may trade around these levels. So to round it up, the Nifty 50 may trade in the range of 15,500 and to 17,500 for the next month's option expiry. And given the fact that the heavyweight stocks and FII data aren't showing the same bullishness that Nifty 50's August 25th monthly expiry OI is showing, markets may continue to be volatile. With regard to the Nifty Bank, we saw that it may trade in the range of 34,000 to 39,000, provided no big swings in its top constituents. You can find the futures and options data and more on trendline.com for any stock or index of your choice. This is Tejas signing off.